Well, a new law within the Catholic Church is being used now to look into the Buffalo Diocese and Bishop's handling of the clergy sexual abuse scandal. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Now this, as support for Bishop Richard Malone, appears to be fraying. Investigative reporter Steve Brown with a story about this new Catholic law that Malone is facing. Steve? Good evening, Scott and Mary Alice. Pope Francis announced the new law in May. It's intended to supply some accountability over the handling of clergy sex abuse allegations and some oversight on bishops as well. The law is titled Bos Estes Lux Mundi. It sets out that metropolitan bishops have the authority to investigate bishops' actions. Also, the Vatican is to get updates on a probe every 30 days with an expected wrap up of the investigation in 90 days. New York Cardinal Timothy Dolan, who was in Buffalo for Malone's installation as bishop, is investigating. A spokesman for Dolan says it's hoping to have news of the results of the investigation in the near future, but would not qualify that further. News of the probe comes on the heels of multiple calls for Malone to step down over his handling of clergy sex abuse scan, uh, allegations. Malone's answer, including while on before cameras last week, has been consistently no. I don't feel my judgment was, was, uh, was, was faulty. And I also don't feel that, that it's time for me to move on. I've said that from the beginning. And there was news yesterday about a no confidence letter circulating among Western New York priests and deacons. We do know that the leader of the petition, Father Robert Ziliox, was in contact last week with John Hurley. Hurley and the other leaders of the movement to restore trust called on Malone to resign last week. We're also seeing a number of canceled events or appear so or appearances by Bishop Malone as of late. The one most recently, a mass and reception for donors to Catholic charities. Additionally, the Bishop's diocesan email account appears to be no longer accepting messages. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.